Hey, what's up everyone who grabs? Alright, so I got some stuff to show you. Uh, TTM from last week, I had totally forgotten about right here. I uh, my Sweet Spot Signatures, Bob Dole. And then on my custom House and Senate card, Bob Dole. And I definitely did that one for, uh, he was in World War II. I have no clue, he's like 95 now. It's crazy. Um, today, TTM, today, today, TTM. I got this guy times four. On my Hewitt Graphs Legends of the Gridiron. Wish he would have signed a tiny bit lower, but still you can see it easily. It's nice. Tom Rathman. And he also signed this little football. So that's cool. And... Thank you, Caleb. This is my first TTM getting back signed of uh, monster cards. I don't know why this one won't focus. There we go. And on the 89 score, my favorite set of all time. So awesome four for four there. Um, almost totally forgot about the Bob Dole, and I'm gonna be going over some Lions stuff. Very sad week for Lions fans. Um, we suck. We look like shit. Our offensive line sucks. It's all started and stop it there. We need to get rid of our offensive coordinator for sure. Um, he draws up these plays that take a year to develop. And our offensive line can't can't stop by uh, something that takes three seconds to develop. We just can't open up running holes. Stafford's just, I mean, literally trying so hard to run him for his life. It's sick. It's disgusting. We look like shit, and it's disgusting. But uh, I do have a few good Lions things to show you guys. I'm going to start it out with my main piece. This is a uh, usually sits up above that case in my living room. And I'm not sure exactly how big this is, but it's a signed piece. Um, as you know, I met Billy, Sw Billy Sims, Scott Mitchell, and TJ Duckett last week at a Menards Grand Opening in Kalamazoo. So I brought my piece that I had brought to a few different events. Um, as you see, Herman Moore, Jason Hansen, that's Derek Williams, Riley Reef, Corey Schlesinger, and Jason Hansen. And now I got Scott Mitchell, TJ Duckett, whose signature might I add looks 100% different than when I met him in 2012. And there's Dwight Bentley. Oh, you can't forget this guy. Signed up in the scoreboard. Billy Sims. I told him it was all good to sign there. So, uh, the first day I had met Scott Mitchell. Um, very nice, classy dude. Joked around with my kids. Hold on real quick. Yeah, he uh, he's left-handed, so is my daughter. So he was talking to her about, I don't know, just some jokes and stuff. But got a mini sign by him. So that was real cool. Um... Me personally, I was always a Scott Mitchell fan. 
Um, my dad was not. But especially after all that Lomas Brown shit. Like, I don't know, that makes me think a lot less of Lomas Brown, because dude just seemed like a really nice guy. Um, yeah. So, I made these customs right before the event. That's cool. I love this custom right here. Thing turned out amazing. He definitely commented on these. He asked me where I got them from, and I was like, dude, I make these things. So I'm thinking about printing up some more of these and sending them to him. And then, of course, this one I love because I got Barry in it. And it turned out wonderful. Just, just gorgeous. So, love those customs there. Um, like I said, very awesome guy there. Um, yeah. So I showed the cards that he signed. He signed six cards for us too. Um, I showed those in my last video. Uh, the next day, or two days after that, um, I had to run on my lunch break. And the article said that, oh. My cat's being annoying, I'm sorry guys. Hold on. All right, <laughs> Scott Mitchell actually signed this too. It's like an eight and a half by 11. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so the next day, it was listed as TJ Duckett, but it actually ended up being this man, Billy Sims, who's the second greatest Detroit Lions running back of all time. Uh, possibilities are endless on how long it could have been or uh, how long his career could have been and how great he would have been but dude was a beast um we probably wouldn't have ended up with barry if he wouldn't have gotten hurt though but uh yeah he was talking about how he blew out his knee in week eight of 1984 and i'm thinking wow i was like just born so Yep, got that mini sign with the dually inscription. Very awesome, 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 awesome stuff. He's awesome, dude. He was he was talking about bringing his barbecue and coming back and a bunch of other crazy stuff. But he was really neat, guys. He also signed that for my girls. And he signed my rookie card. I actually had two rookie cards. One of them, uh, Dave Kaminke gave, gave me. I couldn't find it. I found it right after the show. You know how it goes. Um, but yeah, he was really a really cool guy. Um, all three of these dudes lived up to expectations. By far. Um... The next guy, TJ Duckett, signed three of these for my girls. I got three daughters. They signed that one. He signed that one. He signed that one. And TJ Duckett's actually from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, still lives here somewhere. I'm not sure where, though. He also signed this rookie card of mine. And I mean, he was cool, cool as hell as usual. Um, like I said, I had met him in 2012. And the same day that I met Matthew Stafford and Kelvin Johnson at Drew Stanton's kickball tournament in Battle Creek, Michigan. Um, I realized that the pixels for the photo I had online, of that's me and him, sucked. They were real bad, so... Uh, yeah, I had to do something crazy with it to be able to make it look decent so i made that custom so he signed that one second i left one thing out gotta go grab it yep i'm very happy 
to be able to get this video out of the way. I knew it was going to be long and it was lurking. And now I'm not going to have to worry about it, huh? So I also got this mini signed by him. It's funny. You should look up some TJ Duckett autographs. Um, he's going by Todd now. Uh, I guess. But I got a picture with him. Posted it on my Facebook. I was actually already friends with him on Facebook. Told him thanks for putting me a stranger. Accepting my friend request. But uh, yeah. Really, really cool. I wish I had... Oh, actually, let me show you this. All right, so on here, in this ball, this is the ball from that day, from that event. You see Matthew Stafford right there. And that's what TJ Duckett, that's what his autograph looked like then. So if you look at that, and then look at that. Look at how much different that is in the span of like two or three years. So, totally wicked, awesome, sweet, just good old stuff, man. Love these dudes. So, that's what I got. I'm just going to be rambling now if I don't, you know, shut up and stop. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did. Probably going to be taking a little bit of time off from, uh, all the autograph stuff going crazy because hitting up all those dudes on my lunches was really hard. So that's what I got. Y'all have a good one. You graphs. Out oh, later.